Okay, well, we're in the last round. We're on the draw. I think we're going to keep this hand. We have both of our colors. World Breaker is kind of a dead card, but Sky Spawner is so strong. And it's so good with Bone Splinters. I think we got to keep running 18 lands on the draw. Like I said, we have both of our important colors. We do have our expensive spells in hand, but this still feels like a thing that we can keep. Opponent mulls to five. Okay, there it is. So now we get to go mm, Sky Spawner. I think we do Sky Spawner before Shrieker because we don't have Waste. No three drop from our opponent either, huh? Okay. That was a good draw. Well, now I kind of want to do the Shrieker. I guess I should have held off on the, uh, the Waste. So he didn't know. Now he knows that he probably just wants to kill it. Vile Redeemer. Okay. Hmm. Kozlek's return too, huh? Well, I think we're going to play the Merc Strider now. Makes best use of mana and it trades with the Redeemer. We can definitely win in the late game. Ruination Guide's not bad either. Well, let me think about that. Ruination Guide actually lets us do the Merc Strider for better value, I think. Because of Ingest. Lifespring Druid, okay. Fifth land. All right, I guess we actually do Sky Spawner and pass. And now we can actually trade Sky Spawner for Redeemer. I think I'd prefer to keep the Renation Guide based on our hand. Although if he has removal for the Renation Guide, then he can two for one us. Maybe it's better to just keep the Flyer, actually. My thoughts are, I'd rather have the Flyer and I don't want to get two for one. He does only have two cards in hand, but like now, it's probably better to have the Flyer, probably. Since I can at least attack in. That was a good draw. Can't quite play that World Breaker, but... Pathfinder seems good. Red Green doesn't have a ton of answers for Pathfinder either. They have Devouring Flames. Okay, well, it's actually good news for us. Oh, wait, it's five to each creature? Oh, bummer. Never mind. It's horrible news for us. He just completely caught up. Damn you, Mythic. Why must you be so good? All right, well, that was actually a pretty reasonable draw. So let's go... Uh, Oh, and he has something exiled now, too, the Kozlek's return. That's convenient. Well, why don't we just play this and bounce your dude, then? Oh, wait. He gets it back? I think that's... Okay. It's actually okay. It's a little awkward. 
It's a little awkward, I admit. But I think it's okay. Well, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> well, at least the Merc Strider's doing his job. Not going to play that either. <laughs> God, if I could just rip a uh, holdout settlement, be in good shape. Well, that's actually... Oh, because he can equip it with the cloak. That's right. I see. That's awkward. Hmm. This makes things difficult. So I play the patrol. He can play a rune processor and then kill the whole board. Or he can equip Kitness Cloak and get in for eight. I can also play Hedron. No, I want to use the Crawler for the Bone Splinters. But I don't want to use Bone Splinters now. I want him to equip the... I think he's incentivized to equip the Cloak, right? Because otherwise, Kozlek's return gets worse. I think we just play Patrol and Pass. I mean, it does suck we're losing the Patrol, but there's a chance we get an attack in with it. And like I said, he may want to play the Cloak here, or equip the Cloak. I think he does. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. You juker. All right. Well, let's see what we're scrying up at least. Ooh. That's pretty sick, actually. That's pretty insane. Let's get in. That was like perfect draws. Could not have asked for a better draw there. Still in some trouble, though. Uh, those seem good, though, to leave on top. World Breaker still not in sight here, but... We did okay here. I think we did okay.
Only got seven mana though. It's probably that's fine. One, two, three, four. Crawler. Splinters. Take care of that. Pass. So I can actually triple. No, I can't triple pump. Oh, man. And snapping gnarly, too. Out of cards. I think that means. Just short of. I can play Translator plus Slaughter Drone. But then I can't. No, I can. Yeah, well, this is going to be. I can give Death Touch, but this has Trample. If I swing, I certainly don't have Lethal. I'm one short of Lethal. Alright, let's play Translator. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That's not right. One, two, three, four. Just don't quite. Okay. This is interesting. So I can actually pay a life this turn get this, and then I could pay a life next turn to pump sower. But... No, I think we want to be at four, right? Play slaughter drone. And then next turn I have two mana. I still wouldn't be able to give this Death Touch. He's going to be equipping. Death Touch is priority. All right. Let's play Slaughter Drone. Still spells trouble. I mean, he's certainly going to force me to block. He's pretty incentivized to equip the Cinder Hellion because of Trample. Oh, really? What does that mean for me? Does it mean I'm straight up dead? I think it does, right? He can't equip the Chitinous Cloak. This is going to have Trample. Man, that was such a good top deck for my opponent. He mulled a 5 and beat us, too? I'm so bummered out after that, folks. What a bummer. That was his top deck? Bummer. Crazy game, too. Why couldn't he just draw a land? We still had a difficult play, but... Press into service is the worst. So, I use this. I give that Death Touch. This is a 5-5 five, five trample. I go to 3. I block this. I take 2. I block that. I still die. I'm dead anyway you slice this, aren't I? There's no way to live through this. Is that right? Block here. I take 2 trample. Chump here. I take this. That's lethal. I block here. Lethal. Double block here. Lethal. Block. Two trample. Chump. Three damage. Take five lethal. It's lethal any way you slice it. Wow. What a sick top deck. Amazing. Amazing top deck. Very impressed. He actually can use it to equip too. We're so dead. I don't know what I was thinking.
You can use this and equip the Kiteness Cloak. That's so sick. That was an amazing draw. That must have been the, that that had to be the best draw my opponent could have possibly asked for. There is no top deck my opponent could have gotten there that was more devastating. I can't think of one. There's probably quite a few things that killed us there, I guess. But that was got that's got to be the most brutal one. Absolutely. So heinous. In fact, I don't know why he didn't just use translator to I guess cuz we're dead anyway. But so sick. Such a sick draw. Very impressed with that draw. So insanely good. All right, so our opponent beat us on a mold of five, which is absolutely terrifying. That is like the most terrifying thing that can happen. When you lose on a mold of five, when your opponent molds to five, you're in big trouble. I can assure you of that, folks. You were in big trouble whenever you lose to an opponent who molds to five. That is never, there's never been a time where you're like, oh, he molded to five and beat me. I guess that's good for me. No, it does not work like that. That is never good. We want the crab. It seems like everything he's got is on the ground. Guess we could maybe dump the Merc Strider. I'd rather fly over top. It seems like that'd probably be better. Dispel's not even that good against Kozlek's return, to be honest. Still gets the second half of it. I think I'm going to cut the Merc Strider. Would like to play first. Um, yeah, I guess we can keep. I don't even think I'd keep a waste. So I'm gonna use Fertile Thicket. I'm gonna look at the top five cards of my deck and put them on the bottom of my deck. Just cause it's valuable to get that information. This hand's not ideal, I admit. So, three lands, Slaughter Drone and Negator. It's information. Putting three lands and two spells on the bottom might actually be better for us. More likely we draw um, non-land cards. All right. Parents living in Value Town. Opponent, rather. Living in Value Town. So I might even want to wait up on the Slaughter Drone so we can go Drone Avenger in one turn, but that actually doesn't really make sense, does it? No. Not at all. Let's see if he has the Kozilex return. If he does, he's going to get us good anyway. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. All right. Don't really want to trade a drone for a Scion Summoner, to be honest.
Is Spark Mage's Gambit good against us? I can't even remember. Is that the one creature in our deck that it killed? Oh, no, I guess it gets Sky Spawner pretty good. Okay, that might be enough justification. Oh, my God. <laughs> deck! Deck! So I can... Bone Splinters plus Dwar Isle of Injured. Does that seem good? I gotta tell you, it really doesn't, does it? It doesn't seem good. Oh god, it doesn't seem good. But my opponent's got two cards left in hand. What am I going to do about a Rune Processor? That's a great question, Alex. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do against a, uh, a Rune Processor. So I take down a Warden of Geometries. He's still two lands from a Rune Processor, at least, which means two more turns of land draws. That's assuming he has it. Otherwise, I can get an Avenger down, which keeps his guys at bay. I think I have to do the bad play. I hate the bad play. I, I really do hate the bad play. Never been a fan of the bad play, but the bad play is happening. Yeah, that's pretty bad, too. Guess that kills Pathfinder and Translator, though, so... And Crab, for that matter. Alright, land, please. Thank you. No, don't have the Gorger. You dickhead. Now I'm ripping all the lands I need. Game. Why do you do this to me? You excited for me to uh, lose to a rune processor this turn? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's just draw that Oblivion Strike. Hey, there you go. So, made the bad play, and then proceeded to draw exactly what we needed that turn for the next four turns. This game hates me. Did make it to the finals, though, I should say. Um, still have an opportunity to draw a Oblivion Strike, I guess. Let's draw it right here. Deck. Deck. I guess we lose to press into service anyway. I'm just going to attack into this. I've, I've stopped caring. I'm just going to take seven. I don't care. Oblivion Strike. There you go. Guess I can't really attack, though. Beautiful. There it is. All right. Destroyed. Destroyed in the finals. Um, so it turned out to be the worst play ever, doing the Bone Splinters. 
nightmarish in retrospect, but uh, poor decisions sometimes are made. We still made it to the finals. I'm happy about that. Never got to play World Breaker once, which is kind of a bummer. Fertile Thicket only played okay. Blighted Fin was very good. Uh, Wind Rider Patrol was insane. Droil Avenger disappointed me here, so it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Pathfinder actually played okay. Yeah, it played all right. Null Caller never came up. Havoc Sower was fantastic. Uh, Titan's Presence was good. Hedron Crawler was great. Slaughter Drones were fine. So, some good plays. Lost to our opponent in the finals uh, on the Molda 5 and the Molda 6. So, just going to not go out on a limb and say our opponent's deck was much better than ours. Coldflex's return was insane. I think the Merc Strider play still worked okay. How did we lose that? Oh, pressing a service. That's right. I think we we had the means to come back into that game, but pressing the service was was really the nightmare. So, uh, kudos, hats off to our opponent. Cool deck destroyed us, even on the mulligan. So, definitely just insane in that in that respect. Yeah, I mean, if you win on multi fives in the finals of a fours, your deck is insane. Absolutely. Um, other than that, it's always nice to make it to the finals of an eight four, even with a especially with a C deck, so happy about that. Next draft will be an 8-4. We'll see you then.